Now in this lesson we do some work on three-dimensional trigonometry. Example, the angle of elevation of a tower CD of height h meters from a point A due east of it is 50 degrees. From a point B the bearing of the tower is 0, 035 degrees and the angle of elevation is 48 degrees. A and B are 300 meters apart and are on the same level as the base D of the tower. Right, a fairly lengthy description of the situation there. And we've got A, B and C that follows. Now the solution to A firstly, we need to show that angle BDA equals 125 degrees. Well we're going to start by looking at it from a bird's eye view. Okay, If you're looking straight down on the situation. We're talking about a tower CD but looking directly down on it, we're interested in the point D as being the base. So let's mark in D as our starting point. We're drawing out north and south. Point A is due east of it. So go across and mark in the point A. We'll write down due east. Point B, the bearing of the tower is 035 degrees. So we put the point B there. Again, put a north and south, but we're just slightly make it different. So a north with a little dash and a south with, with a little dash because when we're trying to identify the angles later on we'll find that's important. Okay so that angle there is 35 degrees, that's the bearing. Now that angle is what we need to show is 125. Well let's break it up. That part certainly is a right angle. Okay it's between the east and the south lines. And that angle there, we're looking at it. Do you spot what it is? It's an alternate angle. So 35 degrees as well. So combined, we'll get 125 degrees all up, which is great. So let's write down the solution there. We started off by saying those two angles were the same. So we could say angle SDB equals angle N dash BD. The reason, alternate angles and northings are parallel lines. Okay. Angle BDA then is made up of that 35 degrees and the right angle. So let's write that down. So equals 35 degrees plus 90 degrees, which equals 125 degrees as required. Moving on to part B. We need to show that BD equals H1042 degrees and find a similar expression for AD. Well, to do that, we'll need to start with drawing the three-dimensional diagram. So if we consider this our north, east, south and west, we're normally looking at it like that. For a three-dimensional, we're going to change it slightly. The north-south line, okay, we'll put it at a slight angle there, which gives us a 3D perspective. So the tower CD, where D is the base, the C then is at the top there, and the height is H. So that will give us a three-dimensional quality about it. Now the point A is due east. So let's go across there. There's the point A. Now the point B, which we drew earlier, okay, let's mark it there. The reason we're marking it there, a little bit off the south line, is that earlier on we found that angle BDA was 125 degrees. Now angle of elevation, okay, from the point A, due east of it, is 50 degrees. So from A to the top of the tower, 50 degrees is the angle of elevation. From the point B, the angle of elevation is 48 degrees. So there's our point B. Draw the line to the top of the tower. That angle there, 48 degrees. Now, we're also told that A and B are 300 metres apart. So let's mark that in on our diagram as well. Now, let's go back to find out what we've got to show. BD is equal to H1042. We're trying to get that. Well, look at that triangle there. That is a right-angled triangle. Okay, the ground is at, is at right angles with the height. Now, the 42 degrees, though, okay, I see a 48 degrees. Where's 42 degrees? We well, need to think that angle there would be 42 degrees to make up the 180 degrees, okay, given that the angle at the base is a right angle. Now, once we've got that 42 degrees, looking at the triangle, we can say that in triangle BDC, tan of 42 degrees, okay, tan is opposite over the adjacent, so that will equal BD over H. And we're trying to get BD by itself, so we multiplied both sides by H, we would therefore get that BD equals H 
times tan 42. Okay, and that's exactly what we needed to show. So we've done the first part. Now we need to find a similar expression for AD, and we'll use a similar method. So in this triangle where a AD is the baseline there, the top angle there, all right, to make up the 180 would be 40 degrees. So we can then similarly say that in triangle ADC, AD would equal H times tan 40 degrees. Now moving on to part C, hence, okay, the word hence of course means use the results we've just found to find the height of the tower to the nearest meter. Well, let's just look at the part of the diagram that we need to uh, focus on. Now we're told that BD equals H tan 42, or we actually worked that out, so let's mark that in on the diagram. We'll also mark the length for AD. And we'll run out of room, so let's move that up a little bit. And we've got a non-right angle triangle, so we're going to use the cosine rule. We're going to say that BD squared plus AD squared minus 2 times the two sides, BD and AD, multiplied by cos 125. Well, that will equal AB squared. Okay, so that's an application there of the cos rule. So uh, when we substitute all the various values there, we come up with that fairly lengthy expression there where BD is H tan 42, AD is H tan 40. Now it equals AB squared, which AB is 300, so we write equals 300 squared. Now if we consider factorizing that, now you might not know how to factorize this, but in each of the terms there is an H squared involved. So H squared will come outside the brackets, and looking at that, if we take the H squared out, we'll be left with tan 42 squared. The next term, we take the h squared out, we'll have a tan 40 squared left. And in this particular one, there's, look at the h's, there's two h's, but once you multiply, that's why you get the h squared, once you take them out, we'll have minus two tan 42 tan 40 cos 125. Now it equals 300 squared, which of course equals 90,000. Hopefully you can do that without a calculator. In any case, we'll need a calculator for this part, certainly. Once you do that, on the calculator then we get 2.3815. It's being multiplied by that h squared, so we write 2.3815 h squared. On the right hand side, it equals 90,000. Now, to get the h squared at the moment by itself, we need to divide through by that 2.3815. We get that h squared, therefore, is 37,790.95, etc. And final step, if h squared equals that, we need to take the square root. We do that, therefore we get that h is 194 metres. We've rounded that off to the nearest metre. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.